Bobby. Yes, number eight. Okay, so when I know personally, Bullet Bob Armstrong. He comes in at number eight. Uh, he was a, uh, first of all, I have a lot of love and respect for the entire Armstrong family. Uh, traveled a lot with them, worked a lot with them. Uh, talked to Steve, or excuse me, I talked to Scott every once in a while still. I talked to Brian every once in a while still. Um, haven't spoken to Bullet for a while, but I like Bullet Bob Armstrong. He comes in, of course, he worked a lot with the, uh, uh, throughout the, uh, southern U.S., down in Alabama, Georgia. You know, he worked in Florida. Um, he was in the Hall of Fame in 2011, but some of the things that I know personally, that's just something I just glanced up and read off. A couple of things I want to share with you is I know he was a former United States Marine, so I thank Bullet Bob for serving our country. Also, Brian uh, James, his uh, youngest son, he also served as a Marine, and I appreciate that. But um, he was a fireman, and he started off as a fireman there around, I think, uh, Cobb County, uh, Marietta, Georgia. Uh, and he worked several years, maybe up to about eight years before he, he, he was wrestling a lot and getting really, really popular. And I think he probably was a fireman for several years before he finally made that decision. You know what? I'm going to make it in wrestling because he started telling me how much, how over he started getting when he was going out, you know, to these, uh, to the areas down there in Georgia and Alabama and working. Uh, the other thing, two things that stood out that he told me about, he, if you're familiar with the Nautilus equipment, if you work out, if you're familiar with Nautilus, Arthur uh, Jones, who invented the uh, uh, Nautilus equipment, uh, I think it was down in Florida. Bob Armstrong told me one time he went down there to to purchase a, a piece of equipment. Of course, back in the day, those those were expensive piece of equipment, but it, apparently he was buying a piece for his home gym. And Arthur Jones used to measure people's arms, and the way he would do it, he would take a tape measure, and, or excuse me, not tape measure, a piece of paper, and cut it out and wrap it around your arm and then mark it. And he said he had legitimately had 20 inch arms at one time. And it was verified by Arthur Jones because he was so impressed with people's arms. So Bob Armstrong at one time, Armstrong did have that. And a lot of people don't know that um, he went under the mask as a bullet. And that was due to a weightlifting injury. He was uh, lifting about 180 pound dumbbell, I think it was, uh, and it broke and it uh Required a lot of surgery on his face. A lot of people think he went under the hood, I guess, to uh, to to become the bullet, uh, alter ego, or whatever. But that wasn't the case. He was doing it to hire, uh, to disguise rather some of the disfiguration from the accident of the weightlifting. And of course, most recently for me, and I know it's been a while. He's been on TNA, and of course, like I said, he's been in WWE Hall of Fame in 2011. But he was a Smoky Mountain Wrestling Commissioner, mm -hmm. and he was just over as a baby face everywhere he went. Man, I, I really that's that's all just you know. From notes and from the heart on Bullet Bob, he deserves to be in the top ten uh, regional baby faces of all time. So he comes in at number eight, and I'll let you add whatever you'd like, Jeremy. Oh, yeah. I'm I, away I, with that. But I, some of the people I know personally, you know, and you've talked about this, you let me go because I might have a good behind-the-scenes story. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, a good dude. Good I dude. Got, I've just got a few notes about Bullet Bob. Obviously, I had that he wrestled under the name Bullet, you know, under a hood after, her, you know, uh, having his yeah. face injured. Um, he kept the name Bullet after that point. He also feuded with the Stud Stable. So there's to our Fuller Welch friends right there. Yes. And, yep. uh, of course, his four legendary sons. Uh, the Armstrong name is synonymous with pro wrestling in a lot of areas. Yep. Um, you know, even though Road Dog is probably the most famous and he didn't wrestle under that name, but right. everybody <laughs> knows. Everybody knows. So Bullet Bob, yeah. Order Pin Me Pay Me Have Boots Will Travel by professional wrestler Bobby Blaze Smedley. Go to Amazon.com and get your copy now. It's a powerful and insightful five-star memoir available to download or in paperback print edition.